Okay, greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy, Mickey Fenty, a.k.a. Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you are to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. Inspired by Dreams Clothing, man, it's just a brand. It's a splash between preppy wear and street wear. And it's just, you know, new vibes. But today's video, remember I told you guys, like on my live this morning, I was going to have a lot of reactions today. And this is one of them. This video right here, before I present it to you guys, on social media, you got to be very careful about the things that you cherish and the things that you're collecting, your hobby life, because showing that to somebody else, remember, most things that you collect, some people can't collect because not just because they can't afford it. Sometimes it's a scarcity, exclusivity, a whole bunch of things go into collecting things. Now this next situation I'm about to show you guys is somebody that collected watches. And I don't know how his, you know, his collection got out to people, but somehow, some way, it went down really bad. And people will really kill people for these priceless things, the things that hold value only because we put it on it. And they can lose their lives behind these things. Okay, so here we go. Let's get into it. If watches, the sophisticated burglars disabled the alarm system and disconnected cameras during the daytime heist. Residents say it is not the first break-in in the area, and they are terrified their neighborhood is being targeted. John Finolio is live in the Hollywood Hills with more on the thieves behind this bold daytime burglary, a story you will see only on 5. John? Cher and Micah, the homeowner tells us several homes have been hit in his Doheny Estates neighborhood in the last few months. And as you mentioned, he believes he was targeted and he hopes his story will serve as a warning to other residents. My neighbor, my neighbor called me and said, hey, are you at your house? In these times, you gotta be very careful of what you display on social media. Only show the things that you are not willing to, you know, like if you can throw away or the things that really hold value are the things that people are going to be, you know, hunting people down and robbing people for. And these times, it's just not, I mean, your life is worth more than that. And you and your family, just keep that stuff off of social media. My neighbor, my neighbor called me and said, hey, are you at your house? I go, no. I said, I'm afraid you are been hit. Luis got that call just before 1230 Tuesday and raced to his Hollywood Hills home to discover he'd been burglarized. Whoever broke into this house, uh, you know, kind of understood the security system. Um, How could they understand it? Because they disabled the, uh, they went straight to the media room and disabled all the uh, internet. That allowed them to have a free pass because all of the cameras. Number one, I don't know, you know, everybody likes nice things. And what we're seeing here now is good people that's, you know, the things that they work hard to get people are just coming in their establishments and their places and they're you know they're taking and just taking and taking when you see things like that there are other ways you can still have nice things and put it in places where um you know safe places instead of like you know walking a whole safe into your house and having to do all of that extra stuff people know when they get to your house and you have a safe in there who's to say they don't hold a gun to your head and tell you to open the safe and now your nervousness you can't open the safe and that you end up losing your life because your nervousness and not being them not being able to get what they want so you have to be very careful and know that you know just just be mindful of who's around you and the things that hold value and people are out there trying to steal like diamonds precious jewelry put those in places like safe deposit boxes and place like that where people can't just you know automatically um, just run and put a gun to your head and take it away from you uh, nothing works, right? Automatically, the gate opens. You can see the shattered glass from where the thieves smashed their way into the house, then ransacked the closet. Luis says neighbors saw three men in ski masks, leaving his home located in Doheny Estates in a... Sounds like a setup. One went downstairs, one went to disable the... Ain't it always that, though? Went in the closet to take what they came here for. What they came for were Luis's collection of expensive wristwatches. My entire collection of Patek Philippe is gone, all of them, every single one of them. And I had some very special pieces. You believed that these crooks knew what they were going after? Absolutely. Absolutely. 
they knew. And this might sound crazy to some people, but you see that list of watches that were just going up? Now, some people might look at that, look at that and see a big difference and could tell you so many different things. But then there's other people that look at that and just see a watch. Because I'm very private, so how would they know what was here? He says he's now making major security upgrades and he's not worried about being victimized again. I don't know where they can rob because they took everything. Why do you want to get the word out about these stolen ones? It's a shame though because he, you know, that's what he loves and somebody come in there and just to take it. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. The community is a very, very, very tight knit community and if they can just watch out for a flood of watches. I mean, you're talking almost 50 watches very high-end watches that are gonna hit the market and you're gonna know that some of those watches are mine. All right, Luis says his watches have specific serial numbers and paperwork. He said buyers should be aware of any watches that don't have this verification of authenticity. He also... Look, my goodness, man. Being able to afford something is one thing, but being able to maintain it and just keep it from... Just keep it is another. I mean... We're living in the times where people are just being very disrespectful, a lot of wicked and demonic energy. People are just taking from people. And that's what I tell you guys every time. Concentrate on the things you love. And if the things you love come with price tags and things attached to it, you have to be very smart and mindful of that. There's people out there that they want that type of thing and they want to take it from you. So until next time, it's your boy Mickey Mayles.